Hello, my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to make energy bites. They're a delicious little snack, and they're certainly a family favorite here at my house. And I thought I would show you guys how to make them too. So we're going to start today with some oatmeal. So we need a full cup and a quarter of a cup to go together. So one and a quarter cup of oatmeal. So here goes the full cup and then the quarter of a cup of oatmeal. Next, I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of shredded coconut. And you can use sweetened or unsweetened, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna dump, there goes one third and two thirds. Next, I'm going to grab a spoon so that I can start stirring this up. How does that look from the side? Does that look pretty good to you? The oatmeal and the coconut are all nicely mixed evenly. All right, next we are going to add a half a cup of chocolate chips. I like to use mini chocolate chips, but you could also use raisins or craisins instead. All right, so half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm going to stir those up. Next, things start to get a little messy. So next we're going to add a half a cup of wow butter or nut butter or peanut butter, something sticky that'll help to hold everything together. And it takes a bit of stirring to get everything to mix together really nicely after you put in the peanut butter because the peanut butter just wants to stick everything in one place in a big giant peanut butter or wow butter gob. But just keep mixing and slowly but surely it'll all sort of look a little bit more even. You see how I'm being very, very careful not to push any of my ingredients outside over the edge of the bowl? So I hold, if I even have a lovely handle here that I can hold. If you don't have a handle on your bowl, that's okay. Hold on to the side while you're stirring. It will help to keep you steady. It will steady the bowl. And I think sometimes it's a good reminder too not to let your ingredients spill over the side. I'm going to start sort of trying to flip things around in here to get that peanut butter to really, with wow butter rather, to really mix in. All right, that looks pretty good. Next. I am going to add one quarter of a teaspoon, so a little teeny tiny 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 little measuring spoon of vanilla. Boop. And do some more stirring. Vanilla adds a lovely, lovely smell to whatever it is you're making.
there. Next, mm, something else pretty sticky. This is one third of a cup of honey. Oh boy. Use my tidy little spoon to scrape the rest of the honey out so I don't waste any of it. Mm. And we'll save that little lick for June because she'll come along later and want a lick of honey, I'm sure. There, now things are going to be especially sticky in your bowl. So you will really have to hold on tight while you are stirring. The last thing I'm going to add is a quarter of a cup of a seed mixture. So you can use um, flax seeds or pumpkin seeds or chia seeds. And so we're going to pour that in. One quarter of a cup. good and it smells really really tasty all right so next I'm going to use my stirring spoon to pull out do you know what let's make this a little easier let's use a proper tablespoon measure and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop some out into the tablespoon like this and then I washed my hands very, very carefully, boys and girls, before I began today. And please do the same in your household. Lots and lots of hand washing these days. So scoop it out into your tablespoon measure. Dump it out into your hand. Don't squeeze. Gently rock it back and forth and close your hand over it really, really gently. Don't squeeze. Gently, gently like you're cradling an egg, back and forth, back and forth. Then put the ball into your palm and you're going to gently roll it around to make a nice little ball. Perfect. And there you have it. This is a little energy bite. Very tasty. I'll do a few more with you, and then I think I'll leave the rest for June to do after. How does that sound? Good idea? All right, so once again, I used my tablespoon to put a little in my hand, and I'm gently going to just close my fingers, but not squeezing, just to help it get a little bit of a ball shape. And once you have that little ball shape, then you can really start to roll it but you still have to be quite gentle with it. Otherwise it will just smoosh between your hands and you'll have a giant mess and no energy balls to eat. There, there's another one. I'm gonna do one more together and I'll say until next time. So gently, 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 and your hands do get a little bit sticky while you're working. That's okay, as long as you wash them when you're done. Would it be appropriate for me to lick my hand right now, even though there's delicious wow butter and coconut on my hand? Could I pick out some chocolate chips and lick my fingers? No, that wouldn't be appropriate because then your germs or my germs would get all over somebody else's food. So remember, hands away from your face while you're, while you're doing your mixing and your rolling and your cooking. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Well, I think those look quite delicious. 
I hope you enjoy yours and I hope you have lots of fun making them. Until next time.